Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. I always get so excited on this day because we're going to be talking about new polishes from Moonshine Manny, which is my own brand of nail polish that I make here in my home for you. So this month, February, I have actually been working on this month's collection since before I had planned the Elfing Around collection. This is the one that I was just, I would really been thinking about for the longest amount of time and I saved it for February because it's kind of love themed. I mean, it's, it's love themed, but it's not really Valentine's themed, but I decided to put it here. Um, the collection is called Primetime Lovers, so you guys know that I love movies, I love TV. I always talk about with you on Swatch Us, I want to know what you guys are watching, I tell you what I'm watching. It's just an art form that I do really enjoy, and so what I did is I took three couples from television, some of my favorite shows, and I made six polishes, one for each person in the coupling. And this is meant to be an expandable collection, so each year I can add new polishes to it, new couples to the collection. I'm so excited because it combines two things that I really, really love, nail polish and TV, and then of course my favorite characters from TV. So. We're going to go ahead and get into it. These polishes are going to be available for sale, not pre-sale, just like straight up for sale on February 3rd, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's this Friday. And you'll notice if you check out the website on Friday, my previous two collections are still for sale. So if there's something that you missed out on, you can go ahead and check that out. So let's get into these polishes. Like I said, there are six. Pretty generally, the lighter polish is going to be for the female in the couple and the slightly darker polish is going to be for the male in the couple. And then what I did is, I made the female's polish first actually and then I took components from that polish and I put it into the man's polish and I just, you know, I made a fitting for each person in the pairing but that's kind of the theme here. They're all two coaters and they all have some kind of shimmer or glitter or holographic element in them, even the men's polishes. So I'm so excited to share them with you. Let's start with the two polishes that I actually thought of first, and that is because my favorite television show of all time is Friends, and so I absolutely knew that I would make two polishes, one for Rachel and one for Ross. So let's start with Rachel's polish. It is what I have on my nails today, and I do want to acknowledge I am wearing a very bright lipstick. I thought this was going to be a little bit more subdued. Let me show you. Look at that. Doesn't that seem like it's going to be more like a rosy pink instead of like a bright hot pink? <laughs> This is Sweet Pink from Jordana Twist and Shine. I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that I'm wearing fluorescent pink lipstick, but that's okay. Sometimes it's a good time to wear fluorescent pink. So, speaking of pink, you're not going to find any pink in here because these aren't really traditionally Valentine's colors. Um, they're just colors that I felt like suited each person in the coupling. So for example, the Rachel polish, this color, the Seafoam Green, is actually, I was trying to kind of replicate the color of her dress that she wears in the very famous episode where they none of them leave Monica and Rachel's apartment. They're all getting ready to go to Ross's big event that night and Rachel finishes out the evening wearing this beautiful sea green dress. It's like in the first part of their relationship. And as you know on that show, they kind of start out not together, then they're together for a short time, and then their relationship is kind of tempestuous, like will they get back together, will they not, will they? And then in the end, of course, they well, they have a child together, and then they do get together. So it's just such a great, I just feel like it's a great love story. Friends first, and then um, together, they have a child. Anyway, okay, so <laughs> that's what I was trying to do here. Let me show you the polish. Here it is here, and this polish is called She's Not Rachem. And let me tell you what that's about really quick. So there's this episode when Ross is trying to weigh up these two different women in his life. Rachel, who he's been in love with forever, and his current the current woman that he's dating, and it's right after Rachel tells him that she actually likes him too. So he's trying to figure out which woman to date, and so he's making this list, this pros and cons list with his friends Chandler and Joey, and Rachel happens to come in and see it, and because Chandler is writing it as Ross is saying it, Chandler misspells a few things, and on the side of the other woman that's not Rachel, it says, she's not Rachem. And that's what this comes from. If you don't watch Friends or any of these other shows that I'm talking about, some of them, like, that's why I'm going to explain it to you, why it's called that. But so anyway, Rachel gets really upset when, when she sees that. She's like, she's not Rachem? Is that some, like, scientific thing that I wouldn't understand because I'm just a waitress? So I called it that because that was, like, Ross's biggest reason why he loves her so much is because she's Rachel. Like, you just can't, you can't be anything better than Rachel because Rachel is the best thing ever. Okay, 
long explanation. This is a sea green cream and it has um, also sea green shimmer going all throughout it and it has a rainbow iridescent flakies so they're hopping around between all the different colors. When you flip the bottle you can see every color in there and it's kind of just freckled with it. It's not like overwhelming the polish. I like this best at two coats. You could go for a third I guess if you wanted to like just really really make sure it's absolutely 100% opaque. I feel like it's fine at two but a lot of people feel you know they have their preferences about that so I'm just going to show you two. All of these polishes are going to look a little bit better with top coat just because my polishes aren't like uber glossy on their own so I top coat everything from my line as actually I do usually with every polish I wear. Specifically the polishes that have a little bit of glitter or like these flakies, you're going to want to make sure you top coat just so that you don't have any bumpies on the nail or anything. So this first one is called She's Not Rachem and I had such a fun time making this collection you guys. I'm just going to be grinning from ear to ear this whole video. So let's go ahead and look at the companion polish to this one and that's for Ross Geller. So if you aren't aware, Ross is the name of the man that Rachel's kind of on and off with in the show Friends. He's one of the six main characters as well. He's just as much a main character as Rachel is. And my Ross polish is probably the most shimmery of all the three male polishes. And this polish is called the Divorce Force, and let me tell you why I named it this. Ross has been married at least three times by the time the 10 year span of the show is over. He just really likes marriage, he says. He gets married, I guess he says, easily and divorced easily. And there's just different circumstances of why he keeps getting married. But anyway, his friends make fun of him for it quite a lot. And so he came up with his own nickname for himself about, you know, being divorced because he thought it sounded cooler than the one they came up with. So he calls himself the divorce force in this one episode where he's in Mike and Phoebe's apartment. That's where this comes from. There's a lot of fun nicknames for Ross, but I thought this was so cute. Um, I designed this polish to be actually, it is a black jelly base with a ton of that sea green shimmer in it, the same one that's in Rachel's polish. And I designed it to be more of a straight up black, but I couldn't see the, um, because Ross has black hair, so I kind of felt like that was good for his coloring. But I couldn't see the shimmer as much as I wanted to, so I dumped about half as much again shimmer in, and it made it really nice and shimmery. So I actually loved it this way, and so this is the most shimmering men's, man's polish in the collection. And like I said, it's that sea green shimmer, and so it's just really, really shimmery and lustery on the nail. I'm going to show you two coats of this. I feel like, again, this is fine at two coats. If you want to add a third one, of course, I mean, it's your prerogative to do whatever you want with your polish. Um, you can add a third if you want to. I feel like it's just fine at two. So that's what I'm going to show you, and this is the Divorce Force, and this pairs with She's Not Rachel. Alright, the next coupling is for two characters in one of my other favorite TV shows, and that is Bones. And if you haven't ever seen that show, it's been on Fox, I think, is this the 13th season? It's been on for a lot of seasons. Man, that makes it even more seasons than Friends. Oh, my, tele my favorite television shows. They have such a place in my heart. It's in its last season right now. So what Bones is about, it's about forensic scientists, and so it's kind of like CSI, but there's more of a comedy element in it. Like, the, there's definitely very serious matters, but it's a lot more lighthearted, and um, just with a lot of the characters, like, I'm able to, I feel like, not relate, but I can really get into their storyline, unlike CSI, you know what I mean? Like, they don't really get into their storyline as much. Anyway, so the two characters that these polishes are for are for Temperance Brennan, who the name Bones is after because that's what her partner, Celie Booth, calls her. He calls her Bones. She hates it at first, and then she just adapts it after, after a while. So she's a um, forensic anthropologist, so she helps the Smithsonian Institute solve crimes, and Celie Booth is a special agent for the FBI, and he's assigned to help her. So, in the beginning of their storyline, I'm going to spoil it for you, they really don't like each other at first, and then as their story progresses, they're friends and partners, and then he realizes he has feelings for her, and then eventually they get married, they have two children, and then I don't know how the final, how, you know, how it ends in the end, because we're still in the very last season, but their character is, their um, relationship is so heartwarming, it's just absolutely one of my favorites. So Temperance Brennan Bones is one of, it's, she's a very down to earth woman. She's like very scientific, very literal, very logical. So I made her and Booth's colors um, 
earth tones because I felt like she was the most down to earth, but her polish is it's an earth tone, but it's still very flashy at the same time because this is a linear holographic. I put a lot of linear holographic in this. It's going to be really bright like the other holographics, the other linear holographics in the Elfin Around collection, but it also has gold shimmer, so it's also bright for that reason. You're going to see a lot of gold shimmer, a lot of the linear holographic in the sun. It's really, really beautiful, but it's a kind of ruddy peach shade. So for me, this played pretty well with my skin tone. I think it's going to do well with a lot of skin tones in that it's not it's not super contrasting a lot I mean this just it kind of just flows well off the end of your nail I really enjoy it and I think it's a really fun way to wear a holographic polish so let me tell you this is called wild card Wanda and the reason I named it this is because um, Booth and Bones they're like I said it's there's some comical elements in the show some lighthearted stuff but for the most part they're pretty serious characters but when they have to go undercover, they um, assume these pseudonyms, Buck and Wanda. She plays Wanda, and they assume them um, at least two or three times during the run of the show. And it's just really cute how they are together when they're in these characters. S especially, um, especially Bones. She's just so cute. So it's named Wild Card Wanda because that is the name that she is when I just feel like they're so cute at that time. And so... I wanted to name it that and I did two coats of this again you could go for a third if you wanted to I didn't feel like I needed to so I'm just showing you two and all the photos are going to be the same amount of coats as the live swatching like I'm showing you so this one's wild card Wanda and then her pair is Big River Buck and that is um, Sealy Booth's a special agent Sealy Booth's name when he goes undercover with Wild Card Wanda. Sometimes they're just Wanda Moose Jaw, Buck Moose Jaw, but in this particular episode they were um, Wild Card Wanda and Big River Buck. So um, this is a chocolate brown, but I put a lot of this really beautiful blue mauve mix of shimmer, and so it comes together to be this um, beautiful, it's not really a bright fuchsia, but if you think of the blue and mauve, like that's the components that came together. So um, it doesn't have the gold shimmer in it like Wild Card Wanda did because when I made this um, beautiful chocolate cream, I was just thinking about what component I wanted to add to it because I do always really like to kind of add something to my creams. That's, it's the phase I'm going through right now. I really enjoy it. So I added this blue and mauve and I just think it's so beautiful. It doesn't overwhelm the chocolate at all. So when you're wearing it, like you're just going to see it at certain angles. It's not, you're not going to be able to look at your hand and people are going to be like, oh, whoa, look at that blue inside of that brown. Not like that. So it's a little bit more kind of hidden. It's just kind of, what it does is it gives it something extra from underneath. So it kind of, it kind of just boosts the polish a little bit, in my opinion. This is two coats. I I love all of them. <laughs> I really love all of my polishes. This one just has a special place in my heart. I'm not ready to be done with wearing dark polishes. Like, I don't really follow any kind of rules, and I just wear what I like when I want to wear it, you know what I mean? And I do really like wearing neutrals. I mean, I like wearing greens and blues and purples. I mean, I really like everything, really. But... I just love a chocolate brown, and so I found myself wearing this a lot the past month. I lost it with a beautiful top coat. Oh, it was just definitely had a special place in my heart. So that is Big River Buck. Let's move along to the last couple. Here they are together again so you can see them. All right, the last couple in my collection, at least for now, is the Belchers from Bob's Burgers. And this has been a more recent love. Here are the two polishes together. They are blues. And this has become a more recent love. I would say over the past three years or so, we started watching Bob's Burgers and the other shows, you know, I've been watching for like almost 10 years, more for friends. So anyway, they're the most lighthearted coupling here. We've got one for Linda, that's the sparkly one at the bottom. And then Bob is the kind of gray blue at the top. And I just love that show if you've never watched it. It's so tongue in cheek, the kids, the, there's three kids. So there's Bob and Linda and then they have three kids and they're equally, they just all have, such individual personalities. They're all so crazy and their voice talents that are used are just hilarious. And Bob and Linda's relationship, I mean, it's just such a normal relationship, you know? It's like exactly what everybody goes through in life. At least if you're in like the married part of your life like I am at with young kids, it just, I just feel like people can really relate to it. They're struggling all the time because they own a small business. Anyway, so let's start with Linda. So 
Um, the name for this, actually Tim came up with this and it just fits so perfectly because I was trying to think, Bob always calls her Lynn. Her name is Linda. Um, but in one episode, he calls her Nagatha Christie, and this was just so perfect when Tim said, how about Nagatha Christie? And I was like, yes, that's exactly it, because, you know, of course, every man feels like his wife nags him, and then Agatha Christie, I love Agatha Christie, if you guys don't know that about me, I've read, like, every single work of hers when I was 12, I started collecting them from used bookstores. Um, and so it was just absolutely perfect. So this is a cornflower blue. It's a curly base. All of my polishes are a little bit wetter this time around. I really wanted you to be able to see the shimmer. So um, basically my point there was to make it so these weren't too goopy for you. So um, they're wet without being messy, if you know what I mean. Okay, so this polish is this cornflower blue and it is absolutely packed with this gold spark that's just running all the way through it that kind of makes the polish look a little bit green at times because when you combine the blue and the gold, so at certain angles it kind of looks green. And then the other component I put in there because Linda and Bob's relationship, the both of them, they're so zany. So I put in this chameleon iridescent hex glitter and again it's kind of just freckled through. It's not really going to overwhelm your mani. And so it flashes between green, gold, and red. And so I felt like that was pretty fitting for her. This is, again, a two-coater. You could do a third if you want. I think that's um, kind of attributed to, like how I said, these are a little bit wetter because I didn't want them to be overwhelming. And I really wanted you to be able to see the shimmer. I'm going to gloss this up with a lot of good top coat because I really want to um, settle those glitters in and make it nice and shiny. So that is Nagatha Christie. And for the last polish... Um, for 2017 in the Primetime Lovers Collection. We have the polish for Bob Belcher, and this one is called Bob the Restaurateur, and that's kind of the name given to him by um, kind of his, his arch nemesis throughout the show. And in the very first episode, actually, Bob the Restaurateur, and um, that's what he is. He's kind of, he's trying to be a restaurateur, but he's trying to like just elevate the burger. He loves the burger, and He's just trying to run this business with his family, and this guy is just the daily plight. is the daily plight of everybody that's, you know, a middle-class American. So, um, okay, so this has the same blue as this uh, Linda polish, but I put some gray in there because I wanted to tone it down a little bit because he's definitely more toned down compared to Linda until he gets in his crazy moments. I love the blue shimmer in this one. It's just so pretty, and again, just like the one for Sealy Booth, it's just like... You're only going to see it at certain angles, and that's just, ah, oh, it just does something to me. It just gives me shivers, actually. I just love it so much. So it's a really nice bright blue um, coming from that kind of blue-gray. So love it. I'm showing you two coats here. Um, I really don't think you need more than that. But like I said, it's up to you. Top coat it, and you're good to go. I really love this. This is Bob the Restaurant Tour, and here they are again as a couple. So like I said, these polishes are available on Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific, so that's 9 a.m. Eastern Time, um, later in the day if you live um, across the sea from us. I will link the website below so you can go ahead and go check them out, check the swatch pictures in you know a stable form, not moving here on my video. You will be seeing swatch videos from other YouTubers coming up soon, you'll be seeing them showing up on Instagram. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I know these aren't, you know, traditional Valentine's or even spring colors. Some of them, some of them definitely pass for spring colors. All the women, I think. Um, but they're just really what I was feeling. And like I said, I've been thinking about this collection since, like, July of last year. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm always so excited to share these with you. It's like I get to share just my just my heart, like where my heart has been at for the whole past little while, and you guys get to see my heart in these polishes. So I hope you love them. I hope you're having a super day. Thank you for spending some of your day with me today, you guys. Thank you for all your support with Moonshine Manny. It has just meant the absolute world to me. I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying them. I hope you're having a super day, and that's going to be it. I will see you back for the next video, you guys. Take care. Bye.